I don't have to be in this aisle because it's cat food and I don't even have a cat, but I just wanted to give the impression that I'm in the grocery store. So that's it. I am in the grocery store and getting some dinner and then it's time for me to go to the gym after. I actually don't eat before I go to the gym, I eat after, but then I at least don't have to do groceries anymore. So I secured the goods. I wasn't sure what I wanted for dinner, but I decided to get those smashed potatoes or to like make those. Very excited. And then chicken and some veggies. Um, and now it's time for me to go to the gym and hit quads and calves. disinfected and now I am going home real quick put everything away grab my gym bag and then head to the gym wait yes yes <laughs> okay So today I am doing quads and calves. I'm actually trialing my new program, which is really exciting. I just finished my cardio as a warm up, and now I'm doing some dynamic stretches. Ooh, okay. First up is the Bulgarian split squat. I'm going to have a quad focus, which means that I'll have a closer stance and I'll have a more upright position. So I'll be here. And I actually prefer having two dumbbells for this one, um, just because I can go a bit heavier without losing my grip strength. Next up is the goblet squat. Ooh. And I feel like I'm already super tired after the Bulgarian split squat, um, but I'm picking a lighter weight and I'm going to do 15 continuous reps to really burn out everything that I have, um, even though it's not even my last exercise yet. So wish me luck. With the front squat, I'm going to position the bar right below my shoulder because I don't want to expend a lot of energy by having the bar too low. I also don't want to be standing on my tippy toes to get the bar off. So right below your shoulder is absolutely perfect. And then you have different grips that you can do. I like doing this one, but this requires quite a bit of mobility because you really want to make sure that you keep your uh, elbows up. So if you can't keep your elbows up like this, you can either use grips that you attach to the bar and that you can hold on to the grips. So it doesn't require as much mobility, or you can do, for example, a cross grip. Just make sure with any grip that you keep your elbows up because the moment that my elbows go down, I have the risk of dropping the bar in front of me. So, Elbows up to really make sure that the bar stays there and then do a grip that you feel comfortable with. I forgot that I also need to put weight on the bar, obviously. <laughs> I shouldn't have saved this exercise for last. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
then the final exercise for today is the calf raise. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the top of the position for three seconds, and then I'm holding the bottom of the position for two seconds. So I go up, one, two, three, then I lower myself down and I hold this stretch for two seconds. One, two, and then I go up again as high as I can and I hold this for three. So it's a very slow process. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for some static stretches after the workout to really get back to a calm state again and to make sure that we kind of keep that flexibility and mobility going. But the reason why I love training so much is I think it's the perfect metaphor for basically anything in life because you have to do a bunch of work before you get to the hard part and then the hard part is where you actually have to push through in order to get the results and to get growth. And I think that's exactly the same in life. So, for example, when I do 10 to 12 reps, those 10 reps already require a lot of energy. I'm out of breath, I feel it in my muscles, but I can still do more. So if I keep doing those 10 reps, there, will, there won't be any growth because my muscles are already used to. Doesn't mean that it's easy, but my muscles can handle it. Only when I do those two additional reps, when I really have to dig deep and really have to put in the extra work, put in the extra mile, that's where you will eventually reap the benefits and grow. And it's the same in life. Alrighty, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, always makes me hungry. <laughs> that's it for the workout back from the gym and ready to make dinner so the potatoes that i just bought i am going to boil them first and then put them in the oven later after i smash them and then i'm also going to make the veggies and chicken but first clean the potatoes i know that i'm going to boil them but i still like to pre-clean them i guess a bit of salt just wait since these are firm potatoes, I'm just going to ooh, check how they feel. Oh, they actually feel done. Okay, perfect. to grill the chicken which I have here and I'm going to stir fry my veggies because I also have a zucchini that I'm going to add and I hope that I still have a lemon let me see My potatoes are still on the grill, but I already started making the plates. I'm just going to add a bit of salt to the veggies, pepper, chili. And then I also made the avocado mash that I'm going to put over the potatoes. Here we go, here is dinner, my veggies, potatoes, and the chicken. Okay, quick taste test.
Now that my skincare is done, I'm going to bake tan and I'm going to use the Loving Tan in the Dark. This is what it looks like. So I'll be back with the tan. Voila, I also did my face, which I usually just do with these tanning drops, with these ones, but I already did all my skincare, so I was like, I'll just apply it with the mitt and the mousse. We'll see if I regret it tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to pick a gym fit for tomorrow. These are all my Gymshark favorites because on the 17th, the Black Friday sale will start with up to 60% off. So I thought I would show like all my essentials um, so you can go ahead and create a wish list and then easily check out once the sale goes live. So this is my favorite sports bra. It's the minimal one. Um, it has ties in the back, but I cut it because it was a bit too long for me. It's very much minimal. If you have like girlies, this one is probably not for you, but I don't really have anything to hold up, so it's fine. Then I also love the cut of this because these, like, you can loosen them and then style them in different ways, which I absolutely love. This is the Vital Seamless. And then in terms of tops, I love, love, love the Vital Seamless crop top with a long sleeve. I also love any oversized shirts. I usually wear a size medium or large. And then I love crew necks as well. This is the training crew neck and this is the training oversized shirt. Um, and I usually get this in XS and this in M or L. Vital seamless shorts or vital seamless leggings because I just love how simple it is. For tomorrow, I'm going to pick these ones, the gray ones. I think that'll be cute and I'm training upper body. So I'm going with this sport bra. Perfect. And now it's time for an evening snack. I'm going to make a protein shake with cinnamon 